Hey guys, this is Luke from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another episode of A Star Wars Story. In this video, I'll be telling you the story of Satil Shan, who is most notably seen in the Star Wars The Old Republic MMORPG game. As always, we're mixing the expanded universe and canon, because we believe that there is no reason why most of it can't fit together. Anyway, let us begin. Satil Shan was born in 3699 BBY on Brento IV to the Jedi Knight Tassil Shan, who was the descendant of the legendary Jedi Revan and Bastila Shan. It was discovered that Satil was Force-sensitive, so she was inducted into the Jedi Order and became a Padawan to Jedi Master Ngani Zo. In 3681 BBY, she went to the Republic space station that orbited Korriban, the ancient birthplace of the Sith, to study under the Jedi Order's Battlemaster, Kao Sindarich. At some point during her stay, she and her master captured a smuggler called Nico Oka, who was smuggling stolen Sith artifacts from the planet, so they arrested him and took him to the orbital station. While escorting the smuggler, Ice front. Just inspecting the troops, Corporal. Satil was overcome with an intense feeling of pain and dread in the Force. Just at once, an armada of Herolite class dreadnoughts arrived and attacked the station. Kao Sindarish prioritized that they should warn the Republic. Wow. Guess who's got the fastest ship in the sector? As they ran to his ship, they were intercepted by some Sith troopers as well as Darth Malgus and his master Vindican. After a short and difficult duel, Kao Sindarish told Satil to escape while he holds the two Sith Lords off. Before she boarded the ship, she would throw him her double-bladed lightsaber in hopes of helping him as much as possible. While on the freighter, she alongside Jace Malcolm, one of the surviving Republic troopers, held off the incoming fighters. While doing so, she felt her master's death through the Force before finally escaping the system and warning the Republic. As the Great Galactic War started, Satil would partner with various Jedi Masters before she was finally apprenticed to Togruta Jedi Master Da Nala, who would guide her to knighthood. In 3667 BBY, she traveled to Alderaan, and while there, the Sith Empire invaded... And with one savage strike, for Alderaan. While searching through the ruins, Satil had a vision of Jace Malcolm and his unit Havoc Squad. In the vision, they were in dire need of help, so she immediately rushed to aid them. When she arrived, the Sith were about to execute Jace, but thanks to her, he was saved. Satil then went through a few Sith warriors until she engaged Darth Malgus, the Sith that killed her master 14 years ago on the Korriban Orbital Station. She held her own against the hardened Sith warrior until her lightsaber was cut in half, which forced her to hold off his blade with the Force, that is, until Jace Malcolm broke his assault. Satil then Force pushed Darth Malgus into a cliff, after which she brought it all down on top of him. After the Republic victory at the Battle of Alderaan, Jace and Satil would eventually enter into a secret relationship, even though it was against the Jedi Code. In the following six months, she became pregnant and ended their relationship because of her belief that if Jace died, she would turn to the dark side. As her pregnancy advanced, she went to her first master Ngani Zo and told him of her pregnancy. The two then went to a peaceful faraway planet where she gave birth to her son. Before leaving her son to a master to raise as his own, she named him Theron. Over the course of the war, Satil Shan would fight in dozens of conflicts across the galaxy and would become a renowned Jedi of the Order. In 3653 BBY, Shan was selected to be a part of the delegation that was to attend peace talks with the Sith Empire on Alderaan. However, the Empire used the conference as a distraction while it attacked the Republic's capital of Coruscant, holding the world hostage to force the Republic to accept their terms. As the galaxy settled into an uneasy cold war, Shan foiled the conspiracy to sabotage the new peace perpetrated by Darnala herself. After this, she would embark on an odyssey across the galaxy, inspired by the call of the Force. The journey led her to the Jedi Order's long-lost homeworld of Tython. For her rediscovery of the planet, Shan was appointed to the position of Grand Master of the Jedi Order. In her new role, Satil guided the Jedi Order through a number of problems that arose during the Cold War. 
As the fragile calm of the Cold War began to collapse, Satir was alerted to a dangerous threat from the Sith Emperor by his former servant, Lord Scourge. Before authorizing a dangerous mission to capture the Emperor which ended in disaster, she found out that he intended to extinguish all life in the galaxy. Satil then helped the Jedi Knight known as the Hero of Tython to foil the Emperor's plan. She personally led an invasion fleet in an assault on the Imperial capital of Dromund Kaas, while the Knight confronted and defeated the Emperor. As the renewed war continued to spread across the galaxy, Shan worked with the former Flame Malcolm in his capacity as the Supreme Commander of the Republic military. After 3639 BBY, the Republic and Sith Empire were lured to Rishi and engaged each other until realizing that the battle was orchestrated by the Order of Revan. Upon learning that Revan was still alive, Satil, who was in charge of the Republic fleet, agreed to a temporary truce with Imperial forces, who were under Dark Council member Darth Maul. Revan wanted to resurrect the Sith Emperor in order to kill him himself. The Republic and Empire would fight together against the Revanites, all the way to the Sith Temple on Yavin 4, where their most powerful members confronted Revan. They eventually defeated Revan, but amidst all the fighting the Emperor returned to life, and without taking physical form, escaped Yavin 4. Soon after the mysterious Eternal Empire invaded the galaxy, conquering both the Sith Empire and the Galactic Republic. After suffering huge casualties, Satil couldn't take it anymore, so she renounced the title of Grand Master of the Jedi Order and went into exile on Odessan. While there, she was visited by the deceased Darth Ma, who before his death turned to the light side and became a Force Ghost. Some time later, the Outlander arrived, and this is what the two had to say to him. After my defeat, I sought an ally to make things right again. But only one in all the galaxy was my equal. We met on this world, we argued, explored, and found an understanding. We now pass that knowledge to you. They would teach him how to defeat the Eternal Empire, after which the Outlander would become the new Emperor, aka Peacekeeper, of Zaku. Satil Shan would eventually return to Coruscant and begin training a new generation of Jedi. Anyway guys, this is it on the story of Satil Shan, and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you want to watch more videos like this one, the link to the playlist of our other Star Wars stories and videos will be in the description down below. Also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one, and remember guys, God is awesome, may the force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video, you rebel scum. This party's over.